Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about the Nebraska Cornhuskers. They really haven't been able to live up to expectations the past couple of years, but I believe this is the season where they can finally step up and shine. So I'm not going to keep this intro any longer than it needs to be. So let's get started. The Huskers 13 and 0. And this was a team that was a dynasty in the 90s. They haven't had sustained success in quite some time. Well, every program goes through ups and downs. Uh, even the best have down cycles. You get the right people back in place and you have a chance to recapture some of the greatness. Can Scott Frost finally deliver on the expectations that he has brought for the fans? So we all know by now that Nebraska was insanely hyped going into the start of last season. Despite Frost's first year ending with a losing record at 4-8, they went 4-2 to finish the season and just really finished strong, which led many fans to believe it was going to be that Scott Frost magic in how he previously led UCF from 0-12 to 13-0. The results were that this team just had too much hype. Adrian Martinez, their quarterback after coming off a really good freshman year, suffered a knee injury during the season and then also had to get surgery on his non-throwing shoulder in the offseason. With a rather underwhelming second season that resulted into the Cornhuskers going 5-7 and, and really no one talking about the Cornhuskers, I believe this is the Cornhuskers' best chance to shock the nation. They are ranked 37th in Athlon's Top 130 right now. Yes, I know it's not the AP Top 25, but it should be indicative that this team does have legitimate talent on their team. Now, the Cornhuskers really suffered a huge setback in how G. Day Spielman decided to transfer to Minnesota. Spielman was practically Martinez's number one option. Spielman led the Huskers in receiving, topping 800 yards for a third season. This transfer raises questions into the receiving court. Wondell Robinson can play receiver even though he's really used as a running back, and then Kade Warner will be returning but he needs to stay healthy in order to be productive for Martinez. A good aspect that the Cornhuskers have going into next season is their run game. The Cornhuskers were ranked 30th in the nation in rushing, and with a veteran offensive line staying, this element should only continue to get better with running backs such as Dietrich Mills. While the Cornhuskers defense did show a lot of improvement this past season, the one element that I believe was noticeably lacking was how they couldn't get any pressure on the QB. Frost tried to address this by how he replaced linebackers coach Devon DeWitt with Mike Dawson. However, one, of the, one part of the Huskers defense that is really good comes with their secondary with returning players such as Markel Desmuke and Cam Taylor Britt who is really versatile in how he can play outside linebacker or even a safety. Now the key for the Cornhuskers is that Martinez needs to stay healthy and he needs to make the right decisions in the pocket. Martinez is that athletic quarterback that can play with his feet and with his arms and that is such a huge bonus for Scott Frost's offense. But in the couple of games that I have watched Nebraska this season, it was really noticeable for me that Martinez, when pressured, really makes some bad decisions, especially in that Ohio State game. When Martinez kept get rushed, there were times where Martinez just tried to force it instead of taking a loss of yards on a down, or just throwing the ball away. My predictions for the Cornhuskers? Scott Frost will have a good team next year. And the fact that no one is mentioning the Cornhuskers this offseason only just helps them because of how there's less pressure on the players, but also how it provides them with this fuel that most people are doubting them. After looking at their schedule, I think Cornhusker fans should reasonably expect their team to go 8-4, but I wouldn't be surprised if they even can go 9-3. It's the building steps here that Frost is developing, and 8-4 is that next piece of the puzzle, and I'm sure Cornhusker fans will be glad with this record. If you guys liked the video, Please leave a like if you're new. Join the crew. Why wouldn't you? Peace.